This is my friend Josh Goldberg. He plays Chapman Stick and he's going to teach us a bit about the Chapman Stick and then we're going to figure out how to apply the techniques he's learned to the guitar. Let's go. So what the hell is a Chapman Stick? Well, it's a stringed instrument that sounds a lot like this. So the biggest difference between a stick and a guitar is where the guitar is pluck based, the stick is all tap based. And it's tuned a bit differently, obviously this has more strings than a guitar. Um, so the bass side, since it's a stereo instrument, is tuned E A D G C down in fifths and E A D G C up in fourths. So when people tap on guitar, it's usually pretty one-dimensional. I mean, I'm sure you've heard stuff like this, where it's you know just basically an on-off switch, and all they're doing is tapping down, and then you know hammering on and pulling off with their right hand, maybe while they've got the pick in between their thumb and their finger, or they put it in their mouth or whatever. But since you know I rely so much on my right hand to play melodies and stuff like that, I've really had to explore. Uh, a lot of expressive techniques with my right hand. You know, for example, there's bending in vibrato. Same kind of idea, you know, you're just bending the note up and then tickling the fretboard. Uh, and then there's, you know, this really cool sustain effect that you can get if you hold down your first finger uh, and allow your third and fourth fingers to do stuff around it. So I really like what you're doing with your right hand to make things melodic, and I'd like to apply that to my guitar playing and work on some tapping stuff. Now, I don't, I don't really have any of that together technically, but can you show me a cool uh, place to start, maybe one of the sustained licks that I could learn? Yeah, totally. To All right. So put your right hand in. Okay. And then you're going to take your right hand out. Yes. And you're going to put it on your fretboard. All right. So let's start on a C, right? Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Uh, and then you're, you're basically going to go first finger, okay, third finger, okay, <laughs> hard, okay, and then fourth finger. Oh man, it might be easier if I do middle fingers. Oh, that could be. Yeah. And right. then and then you're going to holding down your fourth finger, you're going to move your first finger to the next string, okay, and then wow, with the third finger and then first finger up, okay. There you go. Okay, I'm starting doing it. It would help if I had a lot of compression on my tone. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Huh. And then maybe I could do something rhythmic under that. That's a work in progress. Yeah, hmm. exactly. So what I'd like my friends uh, who subscribe and play guitar to do is see if you can take some of these ideas and concepts from the stick and apply them to the guitar. That, that's pretty cool, actually. I could I can imagine doing stuff with that. You could, um, you know, it, it's a very nascent uh, thing for me right now. I, I I'm just trying to wrap my head and hands around it, but. It seems like there's a whole lot that you can learn just from taking this totally separate instrument from guitar, but that has some really clear similarities. Draw inspiration from the way it's played and bring it to your own instrument as a way of innovating. And so we'll have lots more uh, stick videos with Josh to get some more ideas for our guitar playing and stick playing and all that stuff. Thanks for being here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>